All right, the last one in this uh, series, we take two blocks. Identical blocks. The, uh, they are initially at the same temperature, T0, T0. We take heat uh, from this one by refrigeration. Take Q1, we do work, and we dumped Q2, such that this goes to Tc. Tc is known. Okay, we want to do so much work. Bring it down to Tc, the cold temperature. And of course, as you dump heat onto the first, uh, the second block, so this is the first, this is the second, this T0 temperature will increase uh, to T final. So if originally they are at T0, the question is, what is the minimum work to reduce the uh, temperature of this block to, to this cold temperature? And what is the final temperature of the other block to which we dump heat? Of course, it will increase, but the question is, uh, what will be the final temperature. All right, so Q1 is taken off. We know what uh, the amount is. That's Mc T0 minus Tc. The uh, energy balance conservation gives Q2 is equal to Q1 plus W, and of course, this being a, a, a reversible machine, W here will be minimum, the minimum work. All right, and so the question is also what is this minimum work? And uh, let's look at the entropy now. Delta S1, that's equal to Mc log Tc over T0. Delta S engine, that's equal to 0, because every time it was doing a cycle. Delta S2 is, it's not a reservoir, so we are putting it uh, bit by bit, uh, keeping it in equilibrium. So it is mc log uh, finally tf started from t0. So the totality will be 0, delta s total. So delta S total equals MC log TC TF or T0 square. So this must be equal to zero. That means the log term must be one. TC TF over T0 square is equal to 1. Tc is known. It is given. We were given Tc. So the final, how hot this, uh, will this get? This is T0 square over Tc, which we can write T0 times T0 over Tc. Since T0 was the higher temperature, we lowered the temperature to the colder temperature. So this, uh, this ratio is larger than 1. It means Tf uh, is is expected larger than T0. So what is W? Q2, uh, we also know because Q2 is the amount of heat that raised its temperature from T0 to Tf. So Q2 is equal to mc t0 
Tf minus T0, which is Q1 plus W minimum. Q1 is Mc T0 minus Tc plus W minimum. Therefore, W minimum over Mc, if I divide everybody by Mc, that's equal to T Tf minus T0 minus T0 plus Tc, which is Tf plus T0 minus uh, Tf plus Tc over 2 T0. Tf is T0 square over Tc, so W minimum over Mc is equal to Tf is T0 square over Tc plus Tc minus 2T0. I multiply by Tc and divide by Tc, so it is T0 square minus 2 T0 Tc plus Tc square over Tc. That's equal to T0 minus Tc square over Tc. That's W minimum over Mc. So what did we find? We find to reduce T0 to Tc, we must do this amount of work at the minimum. This the, at the minimum, we have to do this amount of work. Mc times this thing. And we also found the final uh, temperature of the second block that receives the heat. We are done with this problem, but I want to add one more thing. Uh, if you want Tc to, to go to, you know, you want to make it colder and colder. If you make Tc smaller and smaller, uh, this thing gets bigger, but you have here 1 over Tc. So W is uh, getting uh, bigger and bigger. So in principle, if you let Tc go to, you know, toward zero temperature, absolute zero, you have to supply an infinite amount of uh, work in the minimum. So in the minimum, you have to do infinite amount of work. So this also shows that it's really very hard to get to very low uh, temperatures. Okay, this uh, concludes the entropy uh, problems.